hello everyone and welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you what i would have loved for me as a teenager to learn about to save my emotions and my time and i think that these are things that every teenager have to know about so please keep watching like this video and subscribe and turn on the notifications bell to view all of my content once uploaded so let's start the video So the first thing I would have loved to know when I was a teenager is that now is the best time for you to start looking for your desire. Do not delay thinking about what you want to do in life. And I know this could be very stressful, but it's good and it's going to be easier on you if you start right now. I know for me, I was so invested into school, but I guess I could have done that while being able to also on top of that, think and plan and maybe start working to figure out what I want in life. And I'm not saying to know immediately what you want in life, but it's good to start looking for that early in life look at what you want to do look at what you love to do and invest so hard in that because what you love actually defines what you're going to be successful at while enjoying it another thing i wish i knew is that life is much much bigger than having a boyfriend or a girlfriend and falling in love and all of that you might not believe me right now but it's quite possible that you're not going to like the same type of person when you fully grow up Get your head over these things and let them just happen without investing so much of your thoughts and emotions into these things. And always put yourself first. So do you just want to be recognized as someone who has a boyfriend and that is all what it is? I don't think that anybody would want that. Instead, you want to invest your time and emotions in your own uniqueness. So let that sink in and do your best to invest in yourself and never let anyone tell you that you can't do something because without trying, no one will ever be able to tell. So when you're a teenager, you're unfortunately in most cases either being bullied or bullying someone. And I hope that you're not the second type. And at the same time, you choose whether you want to be the first one or not. So how do you do that? First, by understanding why do people bully. It is never ever because of something about you. Never. Bullies do not look for an excuse to bully people. So that person who decides to do such bad things decided to do it for everyone and anyone that comes in contact with him. You are important as much as anybody else is. No one is more important than another person. When you believe in that, you will let go of caring about what people think of you. And eventually, you will brush off all of the hate of other people that is projected on you because all what matters is how satisfied you are about yourself and the level of satisfaction is never built by other people's opinion it is you who decides and of course if bullying is taking a next level where you're starting to feel violated you have to ask a grown-up for help even if just talking to them believe me just find the right person to talk to and you will be helped so i was bullied when i was a teenager and the thing is now when i look back at it i laugh this is how stupid it was but at that time it wasn't it was very huge and it was a very huge thing to deal with so talking to a grown-up will definitely help you another thing that i thankfully actually did when i was a teenager and i'm so glad that i did it but i know very well that many many teenagers nowadays would prefer not to do so is talk 
Trust isn't something bad to have, so you need to talk to your mother or your father or your older sibling about your feelings and what you're going through in life. Of course, find the person who you feel most comfortable with and it is so awkward at first to try to talk about everything, but believe me, most of the things that are big for you now won't last to be the same way. They are much easier to work with when you grow up and experience and learn more. So talking to a grown-up will definitely give you a bigger picture of what is right and what is wrong, what is small and what is big, what is okay and what is not, especially when it comes to your relationships with people. Burying emotions and worries is really bad for you and nothing deserves for you to feel that bad about it. So you are your own person and your life matters. And you are the one who owns your own life. So talking to someone else will definitely help you see that and will definitely help you take better decisions. Something else important for you to learn about is how to love yourself for who you are. This is the time to start working on your self-love and self-confidence and on your self-trust. These are things that are really important for you to think of and give time and thought to work on them. And again, these things are what you decide to feel like. No, people are not the ones who define these things for you. And if you're waiting for people's approval or compliments to build these things up, you're going to be waiting a lot before realizing people's opinions don't matter unless you care and you want to let them matter. This is how independent you are and you should be. This might sound so hard at first for you, but keeping this in the back of your head will save you a lot of pain and hurting. Experience is built on actions, so don't be afraid to do the things you dream to do. Get the job you want to do, start achieving the dream that you want to achieve, and work so hard on yourself. Take the actions that you're so worried about taking, and then decide whether you think you did the right thing or not. And please never ever think of things in your life from just one angle. Try to look at the bigger picture and build up your thinking process. We will always be learning in life no matter what our age is so never think that you know all about everything because and believe me on this you don't and you will realize that sooner or later so being confident knowing that you deserve the best appreciating your own feelings and decisions after you think thoroughly and learning from what happens with you rather than pressuring yourself so hard to be perfect is the best thing you can do now and for the rest of your life actually. Another advice from me to you is put relationships aside for a bit. You're still young and I think your time should be invested in you, not in other people or in what other people think of you. Of course this doesn't include the people you care about like family and friends. Do your best to do good and do not get shocked when things don't work out the same way you believe they're gonna. It is so nice to have friends and a boyfriend or a girlfriend who you feel comfortable with, but it is never okay to just have them for the sake of having them and putting your emotions and your comfort and your self-confidence as the price of having these people. No, this isn't the way to make you look cool. You always deserve the best that makes you feel the best feelings you could ever have. I know life can sometimes feel so complex like there is no way out, but trust me it will get better and what you're feeling is completely normal. So thanks everybody for watching, let me know down in the comments what are your opinions and the tips I gave you and what are the things you think are necessary for teenagers to learn about based on your experience. Always remember that you are awesome and see you in my next video.